Hey folks, so I just wanted to sort of touch base and update you all on some things that are um, really important moving forward for our class. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is your journals. Um, we will be in this remote tier one model until January the 18th. So if I did not get a chance to get you back your journal in person, if your journal is still sitting on my desk in my classroom in 113, um, you have a couple of options. The first is that, um, and probably the easiest, would be you can run to Walmart, Target, Dollar Store, probably find one on Amazon, and buy yourself a new composition notebook. They cost usually less than a dollar. Um, and you can just tape in the journal entries you've been doing so far, the ones we've done over the short-term closure, and moving forward, you can just do um, journal entries that way. The other option is that um, we can arrange a way for you to come and pick it up from the school. So email me and let me know, and I'll figure out a way to um, hook you up with your journal. You'll still need to tape in the journal entries that you've been working on um, at home, either way. Um, but either way, you do need to have your hard copy of your journal as soon as possible. Um, if you have any concerns or questions about that, let me know. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that I am going to be having surgery on January the, no, December the 14th. So two weeks from yesterday, um, two weeks from Monday, um, and um, I'm okay, you don't need to worry about me. I don't have any life-threatening condition. It's a serious surgery. It's a, um, a time-sensitive surgery, um, but it's has, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. Um, it's a little bit of a recovery, um, so I will be um, out until we return from the winter break. So I'll miss uh, about eight, seven or eight school days from the 11th, which is my pre-surgical -pre procedure appointment, um, through to um, winter break. I will be continuing to post all of your materials on those days, and we're working on figuring out if you're gonna have Zooms or not, and I'll let you know. Um, but you will still have work for English um, on all of those days. Um, it will continue to be um, real work, not um, not busy work. It'll be activities that I have created and that I have planned. I'll, I'll have that all uploaded before I have my surgery. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that was coming up so that you were kind of aware. Um, originally, my surgery was scheduled for January, but they did some testing um, and have moved it um, up a little bit. So it's a little earlier, um, a little sooner. So, um, so that's coming up here in January or in December, excuse me. Um, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that we have this tier one schedule. Um, this week is kind of a wonky week. Starting next week, we'll be using the tier one schedule. I will upload that to Schoology, um, but you have um, uh, on, there are no more A and B cohorts in tier one. Um, so there's no more um, you only have Zooms or school on Mondays and Tuesdays or Thursdays and Fridays. You have Zoom or school Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. All of you, whether you were A or B students in Tier 2. Wednesday will stay an asynchronous day, a shorter day. And we'll stick to the schedule that we've been using. So you'll only have periods 1 through 4 on Mondays and Thursdays. And you'll only have periods 5 through 7 on Tuesdays and Fridays but you have to come both days. So if I have you in period one, you will come um, at the period one designated time on Monday and Thursday, whether you're an A student or not, but you won't have English class on Tuesday or Friday, and I won't assign you any work on Tuesday or Friday. We'll stick with these 70 minute block periods. You'll have less of that asynchronous Schoology work, but I will continue to upload everything on Schoology so that you'll be able to see it. Um, we'll use Schoology for a lot of our assignments and things like that. I am excited to be teaching um, through Zoom. I think there are some really cool strategies that we can use in Zoom, and we'll just kind of lean in to whatever is coming. So um, if you're seeing this video, it's because you're a B student. We have our last B-Day on Thursday. If you have any questions or concerns, you're welcome to bring those to me on Thursday. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that you got all of this information as soon as possible. 
um, folks have uh, just a really beautiful day and I will see you soon.